We've got quite a few brand values at the Primal Pantry. One of our key ones is to be bold, to not be afraid to make mistakes, um, to just crack on and get things started. And a big one for us is to be open and honest. So whether it's with our customers and our consumers, um, more importantly, it's the integrity we put into the brand um, and into the products we actually make. So um, we are very open in terms of the ingredients we use, um, communication we have with our consumers, um, and the level of, of disclosure we like to share with, with people, whatever questions they may have about the brand or the products. I think the best thing you can do is to get as many people trying the product as possible. So for us, brand in hand, getting the product in people's mouths, having them taste it and feedback um, at next to no cost to them is one of the greatest ways to drive um, trial and awareness. Uh, we're still working on our brand positioning um, and what's really important is to make sure that you communicate the emotional benefits more so than you do the rational benefits. Um, you know, as the old saying goes, people buy, they don't buy what you do, they buy why you actually do it. And so for us it's a real focus on why we're here and how our brand and our products can help our consumers versus just the key benefits that are in the product. Um, and so creating something that's a little bit more unique and that resonates with, with our target audience. We, we love online marketing. Um, for us, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram is huge in the natural wellness space. Um, and what we'd love to do a bit more, which we know is effective, is some Instagram influencer activities as well and some more video content. But um, online is key for us. So the rise of veganism, vegetarianism, paleo diets um, is here to stay. If anything, it's gonna increase. The um, consumers out there are becoming more informed of, of the food chain and the supply chain, um, making better choices when it comes to food. Um, we will probably see more meat eaters turning to more plant-based diets um, and increasing their plant-based plant protein consumption. Um, I just feel that now the current generation are, are, are thinking of ways to be a bit more sustainable and to give things back. And uh, this, this change is not going, is not gonna go away. I think one of the things that nutrition brands could do to work together is in education. Um, for us and, and for other brands out there, it's really educating not just the consumer about food, but also the customers, so the buyers at the supermarkets. And um, you know what we're seeing now is increases in space for free from products or healthy snacking products. Um, but what we're finding is the buyers aren't really understanding or open to the changes that are taking place in the market and what consumers are now looking for as they become more informed and they can research better in terms of you know, what's good for them. So brands should collaborate together and, and educate um, consumers. So 2018 will be our most exciting year ever. We're just about to close on a fundraising round and um, we're raising so we can put some weight behind the brand and get it into as many places as possible and get as many people trying about it and talking about it. Um, we've got some new products in the pipeline, we're going to grow the team, um, so there's lots for this year.